Gary, thanks for coming for your ear cleaning. Uh, how long have your ears been blocked? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just there. The yeah, the, uh, I went to my uh, ear specialist, ear hearing aid specialist, and he said I had wax. Okay, all right. First we're gonna I knew I had wax in my ear. When we look at your ears, we see on both the right and the left that it's blocked, and the left looks a little more open. We'll try to see if we can tease away a little bit of that wax with a little curette first and see if we can get a view of the eardrum and probably irrigate after that. We'll see how it goes. We want to be gentle though. We don't want to hurt you. Now, does it hurt to touch in there? No. It's pretty deep, the wax. And it's packed in there. We're not going to be able to make any progress on the, on the right ear with the curette. The problem is I'm using the curette itself to keep the ear canal open. But that limits where I can push it. All right. So we're not getting anything with the curette because it's so deep. I just can't get in that deep uh, with it. We're going to irrigate. We put in hot water and hydrogen peroxide. And then I'll put on my gloves. And yes, I know I have a tremor. That's not news. And then the, the water goes out to the sides, not straight in. All right, so we did one, one bottle full. Let me take this away. We'll do another one because we didn't get any wax at all. We're not even going to look. We're just going to get more. All right, so after two rounds of this, is it dripping? <laughs> With just barely any material, we'll go ahead and take a look at where we're at. This is the right ear after two washings. And it's moved it around a little bit. But it's not breaking loose yet. We'll do some more. Oh, see how there's some coming out? Yep. It's coming out, Gary. It's starting. I can hear better. Already? Okay. Yeah. So that means we should take a look at it. Yeah. This is after the third wash in the right ear. And it's different. Someone's coming out. Four times. This is this is a record for this office. There's some. Take this away again. Getting more, as you can see. That's. Yep. But it's just. It's just soft. And yeah, you feel it a little bit. So let's not do that. What? <laughs> I said, let's not do that. That hurts. Some people are going to suggest that we use the syringe instead of this, but really the syringe would take longer than this, from my experience. Oh, look at that. Are you getting that? Oh, okay. Let's push. <laughs> just push it against your cheek there. What? There, it's that's better. Let me uh, take that out. Get out of the way.
So this is after five washes, looking in the right ear to finally find that it is absolutely pristine inside of there with a normal, nice looking eardrum. There's a little bit of wax there on the side, but we're gonna leave that alone. And get another look here. There we go. We're gonna go with that. We're not gonna get those little tiny traces out because we'll cause injury if we tried to get those little pieces out. So this is our first washing of the left ear. Let me uh, get the angle right here. Okay. Does that feel okay? Yeah. All right. So we'll just count on it taking a few times to get started on this one. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah, we'll try to charge it up for the next one. So still nothing. Number three on the left ear. All right. I think I'll try it at this angle. Still nothing. That's after three. This is, I'm going to take a look in there. That's just an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't make any money doing this. No, no. <laughs> we need to. It should, what, take 15 minutes or something? Yeah, yeah. So this is after three washings in the left ear. And it's moving stuff around. Not getting it out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, we're getting stuff now. Can you see it? See how it's, uh, there we go. Finally, finally, we can see that eardrum on the left after all of that. Got a little bit of wax at the opening here. Just um, getting really aggressive with that. I'm gonna leave a little flake in there. It's not obstructing the conduction of sound at all. But if I was to go in and try to get that with the angle of your canal, I'd end up scratching the sides of the canal. So now, can you hear any better? I can hear pretty good. Okay. Other than the, you know, the water that hasn't popped. Okay. And that, that sh yeah, just turn your head over and... Uh, this one feel, this one, I'm hearing better now than this, than this. Okay, let me do this then. For this ear, um, turn your head, tilt your head down the other way. T uh, tilt your head this way. Really far. There. Now, how is it? Pretty good. About as good a hearing as you've had? Um, not not as good as this side, but. Okay. I think it'll pop pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. So there's no more wax that we'd want to remove. The little bit of wax that's there is not causing obstruction for anything. Won't block hearing aids. Won't block uh, the removal of wax. Uh, you may want to get your ears uh, use a home remedy maybe once every two or three weeks. If it blocks up again, we can always do this. All right. Thanks, Gary. Thanks Good. for joining us. Hey, thanks for joining Gary and myself. Gary's a tall one if you haven't. <laughs> Until next time, Gary and myself uh, telling all of you to stay in good health. Thanks, Gary.